Hey guys! This is my Project for Awesome video in 2011. On the 17th of December, I'm going to promote an organization that is called TASO, and it is a German organization that helps animals. You can have a look at the page. Their main aim is to return the lost pets to their owners and their home. Everyone who owns a cat or a dog or any other pet does know how much they love it. And they can imagine how much pain it causes if one of the beloved animals gets lost. I actually got a cat. His name is Mortag and he's three years old and he's been in my house for almost three years. And it would break my heart if I would ever lose him. This is my little lovely Mortag. He lives indoors. He's an indoor cat, so he won't ever leave the house. That's why he can't get lost. But to people whose cats stray outdoors or whose dogs may sometimes break out of the garden, it is fairly important that they have a possibility that their animal or pet comes back. Here is where Tasso acts. As soon as you get your pet, your breeder, if you got it from a breeder, will tell you about Tasso because it is really highly recommended here in Germany. And you can go and register your cat at tasso.net. It's absolutely free. If your pet gets lost, you will get free traces and free handouts from Tasso to look for your pet in your neighborhood. You can put them up on trees and lanterns and walls or wherever you want to so that the people are informed that you are missing your pet. This is only the first step. As soon as the pad is found by someone, they might take him to a vet. And the vet can check on the number, which is either tattooed or implanted via chip, microchip. My cat has actually got a microchip. And if you take the cat's passport, you can check out the number. This is what my cat's passport looks like. And this is his Tasso identity card. You can see my name and my address and my telephone number on it. And you can see his name, his chip number, his breed, and all the other important information about him. In this passport, there's actually a page on which you have those little numbers. If the vet got the number, you will call Tasso and they will check their database for the number. If your cat is registered, you will get it back because Tasso will soon call you and tell you that your cat is wherever it is. And then you can either go and get your cat or some nice people from Tasso come to you. They do also stand up for animals in general. They have some projects for the street dogs in Eastern Europe and they help to prevent the illegal market for puppies. As sophisticated Germany might be, but we also got bad guys here. And they don't care for the puppy's health, they just care for the money. Basically what happens is that they don't stick to the rules that breeders have to stick to. Their dogs breed more often than they are allowed to. That causes illnesses, serious illnesses and those animals suffer from this. Often, these little puppies die within some months after they were bought. Or, if they survive, the price for the vet is actually higher as a breeded dog would have been. So Tasso stood up for these little puppies. And the first thing they did was inform the people. The second thing they do is try to act again a market in which puppies are treated like stuff on a rummage table. So Tasso calls out. Tasso tries to make the world look at the pets we have, at the animals, and all those cute thingies that don't have a home and that live in animal shelters. The animal shelters cost the government millions of euros per year. So Tasso helps to return the pets to their owners to prevent them from ending up in an animal shelter. 
Tessa also got this newsletter, which is in German, apparently. It actually tells about the cats and dogs brought back. Here we got uh, the article about the puppies. Here are some reader's comments. This is what Tasso does. But all this action cannot take place without your help and your donation. Because Tasso is entirely based on donation. The link to the website is down in the doobly doo. And it is actually in German. Murtak and I say goodbye. And have a nice Christmas, maybe? Have a nice Project for Awesome day. And rate and comment and make the project for awesome as good as it has been since 2007. Goodbye. Check out the Vlog Brothers.